So I identify as a trans woman because they have more rights and benefits than women. And I want those rights and benefits. I want them all. Welcome to the Panic Button. I'm Nina, YouTube's favorite lesbian. And we're going to be reacting to some stuff today. Let's get into it, shall we? A transgender woman has called for the dismantling of airport TSA screenings after she claimed an agent punched her in the testicles and yelled at me for having a penis. Yeah, so the flyer posted a since deleted selfie uh, showing her sobbing in a bathroom stall following the episode, complaining that her, quote, ball still hurt so bad. Quote, I don't want the TSA agent that hurt me fired, she said in a separate post. I want her educated and the entirety of TSA abolished altogether. As a uh, ball carrier, <laughs> uh, I can attest, yes, this hurts, okay? It's one of the worst pains in the world. What a big cry to his decision to rush to the airport stall and the accusations that the TSA agents uh, took issue with come over seven years after New York passed a law to allow a person of any gender to use any bathroom. Similar laws are also in effect in several other states. I haven't stopped crying since an hour ago. My boss <laughs> passed in 2021 also saw Americans al uh, allowed to legally change their gender on their passports without the need for medical documents. However, the same year, another TSA role erupted when a transgender woman hit out at screamings for being transphobic after an anomaly was detected between her legs that set off the alarm. The security, a TSA officer reportedly pressed a button designating her as a woman, triggering the alarm when she walked through the body scanner. So yeah, I mean, if you're a transgender woman, and that's probably what happened in this situation. They probably looked at this person and said, okay, woman, she goes to the scanner or whatever. <laughs> and you're like, what the heck? What is that? Right? So that's probably led the woman who probably was uncomfortable with it to probably touch the transgender woman's genitalia because the woman had to fill up to see what was in there, what you got in there. I mean, how dare they? The TSA agent should have known better. I mean, women can have nuts or they can have vaginas. Uh, they should have gender gender neutral scanning systems. Make it a lot. It would make it a lot easier for everybody. Then we don't have to have this issue. I mean, I can get where the TSA agent is coming from, you know. But it, it could have been two sacks of cocaine in between her legs. I mean, with women, they they shove things up their hoo ha all the time in order to to run drugs. So I mean, I can understand her point. But I mean, nowadays women can have nut sacks. So. The TSA agent should have known better. Unfortunately, she didn't, and now she's probably traumatized. But the trauma for the trans person is way more intense because they weren't expecting to be groped by someone. They just assumed that the TSA agent was educated enough to know that a woman can have nuts as well as a vagina. I guess it's just a strange world that we live in where pe people can't even walk around without getting their nuts hit. I mean, it's sad, isn't it? Then again, maybe we should just abolish the TSA. I mean, 9-11 happened so long ago, right? So it's not really that big of a deal anymore. Maybe we should go back to smoking in airplanes. That'd be good. I mean, I smoke, so it'd be good for me. I wouldn't have that <clears throat> nicotine craving on my flights. I travel so often. But how dare the TSA agent? Especially the woman. She should know better. She should have been informed. Aren't they teaching, uh, what is it called? Aren't they teaching, like, acceptance and things like that? Acceptance training? Diversity training. Aren't they doing that? Hmm. I also didn't know that scanners, the TSA agent has to know your gender before you pass through a metal detector. I mean, what is this? Is this a courtroom? Why do you need to know my gender? I mean, it is my identity. And I do like to talk about it a lot, especially on TikTok. But it's nobody's business. It's not the TSA agent's business what my gender is. That's my important business. It's personal. It's not their business. I'm just here to travel. What the hell, guys? Why doesn't life make sense? What is going on with the world? What are we doing? Why aren't we being more inclusive and accepting? And just allowing this person to be waved through. I mean, we all know for a fact that trans women just want to blend in. They don't want to be picked out, ostracized. They don't want that kind of attention, you know. So the fact that this woman almost seemed like she targeted this trans woman, the fact that she did that is pretty gross. I'm quite upset. Women need to be more tolerant. They need to be more informed. And this is just another sad day for us, for us trans women. It's just another sad day. 